RPC Hansen in his book about Patrick said that the tragedy is that all the myths and legends that are attributed to him actually hide the truth. They hide the real character of the man, they hide the real power of the message. And so what we're trying to do is get behind the myths, get, get rid of the legends and all the bits that are made up and just get back to the words of Patrick himself and to bring those to life and to let people learn about the guy himself. Curiously, Patrick is the best documented individual from the early centuries of the Christian era in these islands. We have two documents which all the scholars agree authentically derive from Patrick's own pen. There is his confession, his confessio, his account of his life and his motivations and the things that, that occurred to him. And then his, there's his rather fierce and very forthright letter to the soldiers of a British chieftain called Caroticus, complaining bitterly about the fact that Caroticus and his soldiers had taken captives who were Christians, including women and children whom he baptised. And they're important because they're not hagiography. Hagiography tells you what the writer thought of the person he was writing about. It's not an objective view, it is a subjective view with a backward look. The only objective things that we can use to get a piece of Patrick are his own writings.